Now let's measure the hip drop. So that's 23 centimeters down from the top. Boy, I wish I had my ruler. It's a nice long 40 centimeter ruler. So hip drop 23. We'll make the mark here and here. I actually cheated and I already measured these and made a little mark. Uh, now for this part, I'm going to make a dotted line because we want to remember that we don't want to cut that. It's just a point of reference. The next is the hip measurement. So that's 23 centimeters. So let's mark it on here. 23 centimeters in. It's right here. And our waist is 20. So, there. Now we have to get the crotch. The crotch measurement is 5. So, from the hip drop, measure down 5 centimeters.
You may notice here that the inseam doesn't match up perfectly, but that's okay. We'll fix that in the final pattern. I finished the test pants. Now put them on inside out. The first thing that surprised me, I hope you can see, they're not tight. I thought they would be snug in the thighs. And I realized that mistake I made in the calculation. was counteracted by the mistake I made in the measuring. Okay. So it evened itself out and they actually are not snug as I thought they would be. So you have them on inside out. And this, this is where you will now mark it up and make the adjustments you want. I want them snugger in the thigh, so here I'll draw the line. This is where I'm going to sew it in a little bit tighter. And that's basically it. Go ahead and Make the pants, adjust them however you want, and then just add whatever shape you want below the knee. Then I'll just go ahead and add the bottom of the pants to the final pattern. Okay, now I've been working on one side. I haven't done anything to this side. I might have done something on this side, but little to nothing. I've been working on this side mostly. I'm almost finished starting to fit more or less how I wanted it to. You gotta, you gotta make sure you can sit down. Now, it's quick here on film, but I've been working for about 20 minutes, taking them off, sewing a seam, putting them on, fixing it, taking them off, sewing a seam. You know, it's, it's a process, it's a process. But this is gonna be a pattern that you're gonna use over and over. So it, it's worth putting the effort into getting it just perfect. So I'm almost done. I've been working just on the one side because you only need one front pattern and one back pattern. One important thing, all the sewing you do, do not cut any seams, any excess fabric off yet. That's what you do at the very end when, it's, when you've got it perfect. You don't want to cut fabric and then regret it because you changed your mind. So it's a process. That's what I'm trying to let you know. And just be patient, but you'll get it. And the more you do it, as with anything, the better you get at it. All right, I've finished altering. Now it's a matter of taking the new seam lines that you've created and leaving the seam allowance on the sides. In my case, I like to use one centimeter seam allowance. And another thing you should notice, remember when I told you that it wouldn't match up perfectly? It still doesn't. This is, this is the point where you even this out. So we want these both the same length. This side is worthless to me. I didn't make any alterations there. So I take two pieces of newspaper together. Here's the front pattern from what we've done so far. Now line that up. More importantly, the leg. This is the, the part that goes to the knee. That's important that it be straight. On the newspaper, it's not as important, but it's nice to have the lines of the newspaper, the words going up and down, because I actually use those as a guideline when I put it on the fabric. But it's extremely important that this part be straight on the grain lines of the fabric, because that will help your pants fall the best. Now we'll pin this into place and trace around it with marker or pen or pencil. And now, we just add the length. There we go. So here I've gone over the lines in marker. And now all that's left to do, this is the front part, but you'll do the same for the back, is draw the shape that you want the legs to be on the bottom. I suggest if it's your first pair of pants, just do a pair of straight legs. And actually that'll make it easier on top two, kind of baggier and straight legs. But um, as you start to get better, you'll make different shapes. I'm going to go ahead and draw bell bottoms on the front and the back and then cut out my pattern. So here are my front and back patterns. In part three, I'll show you how to put it all together for your final pants.